All right, welcome to episode 180. How's it going, Noel? Good, how's it going? Good, Gail's here, Jerry and Robin, so we're at full strength. Hi, everybody. Um, thank you to everybody that gives us stars. You've done an unbelievable amount yes. lately, yeah, thank and you. thanks a lot. Um, Dennis's show, I want to remind everyone, is going to be what, Robin? Are we doing Thursday nights with Dennis? Thursday. Cannon's Cannon at 7. It's going to stay at 7. It appears mm -hmm. that way. Unless he, well, he's trying to do some research into seeing what's the best time i guess day. Yeah. so i told him whatever he wants to do because people are watching it so it's yeah. cool he's got a good uh it's something different it is different that, like that no one does so. well he's very um he's smart it was yeah. all this stuff you know we don't usually get an opportunity to have a guy like him no so it's good he's really good so that's yeah it's scary. amazing the yeah. how prepared he is he to do a it's a, amazing a that three. i sit there in it i can't believe because when i'm sitting there i'm just like you know some of the things that are being said yeah, exactly. and then, so then i I just try to listen and make up a question here and there. <laughs> well, that's what I said to John. I said, well, I know I'll have lots of questions because I have absolutely no idea about any of this. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's yeah. it's deep stuff. He's deep. Yeah. yeah he is. He's very, when he talks and thinks, I mean, just like what he did when he worked for the FBI. I mean, yeah. He's not just some fly-by-night person. Right. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. I And I'll say... Um, so that's on Thursday. We think it'll be at seven on Thursday. I'll right. I'll make sure that it is. But whatever. It was a good show, and someone gave us a, a ton of remember that? like eight hundred on the hundred stars on a show yeah. the other day. Yeah, we're getting a lot of new people to watch too. So that's cool. yeah, yeah. Um, how's it going? Oh, well, my mouth is killing me. Dentistry. Yeah, dentist. Yeah, it sucks. You're scared of them, or do you get do you Terrified. get shot? Yeah. Terrified. I don't like them either. I hate mm -hmm. dentists. I wouldn't. Yeah. Um, I, I, guess, I used to be a general <laughs> assistant. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah, I'm not crazy. Robin, you're shot. you're scared too. Right? Yeah. So many shots. Yes. Yeah, so the, the shot. Yeah, forget it. Well, if you need a lot, that's why it hurts. Yeah, that's why I, I need a extra. Yeah. 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 They're about like this. Yeah. The needles are about this long. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, so. so it's got to go all the way in your jaw, I assume, all the way. Yeah, they got to go back up behind there. into the oh. um, nerves. My God. The yeah. innovations. So yeah. Well, real. I want to get this story out of the way. I know everyone knows, but it happened in between our um, last podcast. They did arrest uh, that guy. Yeah. His yeah. name is Darion Cotton, fifty-seven years old. They charged him with two counts of first-degree robbery and then first-degree assault. So yeah, there you go. For, so that's what they charged him with um, attempted, attempted murder. murder. Yeah. Do we know anything about the victim, or if she's Somebody said that she's at home resting. Oh, thank she God. had two skull fractures and bleeding on the brain or something. Why, why, wouldn't, they, why wouldn't they? Yeah. Attempted they murder. Why? That's should. a good question. Yeah. I mean, I mean, there's got to be. That had to be attempted murder. I mean, he didn't care if she lived or died <laughs> when he right. hit her with a hammer. And <laughs> you know they're going to plead, plead it down well, anyway. Yeah. yeah. Right. We'll get into pleas here again. You know. That's like a, a a theme of our show lately is the plea deal. Yeah, yeah. it's really, really, it's really messed up what we're seeing. And it all we really get, it's been going on. We we saw with Belter, and yeah. then of course D'Angelo's, and then as we go forward, we're going to talk about another story um, with Sweet Angels um, Daycare Center, mm -hmm. and they we talked about that last <laughs> week, and um, you know this week we had the second person, Victoria Stanton, her name is, who pled. Uh, in a plea deal, she was charged, I believe, with two counts of um, endangering the welfare of a child. They let her plead to second degree harassment, Ridiculous. which gave her $250 fine and 100 hours of community service. Well, so she got 100 hours. She got 100. Katie Rifford has to have her kids taken from her. Right. Think about that. They take somebody, they took her kids from her. She did nothing wrong. This dumb mm -hmm. ass. Actually, that's me being nice. Yeah. She abuses a child, children, and yeah. she gets mm -hmm. to get away with it. Yeah, and it's it's the other. Yeah, now this th this is because the prosecutors suck. Yeah, it's basically on them. They just they yeah. love. They don't care. Yeah. They just care. they just give it up. They, there's no special. It's just easy. Yeah, 
you ask for it, they'll give it to you. That's they, all. They don't care to fight. No, they not at all. Read a school of, uh, yep, exactly. Prosecution? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So two hundred fifty dollars, a hundred hours of community service, and she'll move on with her life. Yeah, you know, really. She just yeah. she's done. Right. That'll be it. See if she even does the community service. Did they do the thing with her where she's not al allowed to work around a child? I think at so. Least. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. I mean, but still, it's over. Yeah. You you did what you you did, and you you've ruined a bunch. I mean, you've hurt a bunch of kids. Hopefully, everything will be okay yeah. when as they grow up. I hope. Yeah. Um, but there's another one. Go ahead, Gil. Um. Yeah. They they'll all have PTSD. Oh I yeah. Mean, it's ingrained in them now. Yeah. Yeah. And even though they go through therapy and stuff like that, something that'll trigger them somewhere down the line, it'll never go away. And all this idiot has to do is 100 hours of community service. So right. I'm sweep the floor for 100 hours and I'm off the hook. Right. Nothing it's follows ridiculous. Her. Right. Yeah. Nothing yeah. follows her. No, $250 and that's it. Yeah. And it's over. That's all that was worth. Similar to what we, you know, it's another crime where the victim lives with it for a lifetime and the perpetrator just shrugs it off. Right. And this is why people take things into their own hands. Well, that's where vigilante mm -hmm. justice comes from. That's yeah. where it comes from. Yeah. People have had enough and they push them too far, and that's what happens. Mm -hmm. But they have no problem getting the vigilante and put them away. Right. Forever. Yeah, exactly. That, that becomes uh, hands down. So now we've got a third person. Alexis Cleveley, I think her name is. She pled not guilty in the same courtroom. Um, town Justice Bruce Barnes and Newfane. She's up for three counts of endangering the welfare of a child. So she's the biggest of them all. So she pleads not guilty because she knows what's coming. They'll plea deal it. Yeah. So what is she going to get? Two fifty and two fifty and one fifty. Yeah. You know what I mean? What does she get? Yeah. Right. right. Two hundred dollars community service, maybe a three hundred fifty dollar fine. They'll throw the book at her. Well, I think I they said it was so many hours for each child. Oh, really? What the fuck? Uh, so many hours for each child. <laughs> what? Mm, I read that. Wow. Two more. Wow. Let's see. What... Scott. <laughs> yeah, let's read these off. Dominic yeah. says, it's sick. These kids will be stuck with the trauma for life mm -hmm. and have to go through therapy for an adult that is shallow and gutless. Yes. Yeah. One, Scott, wonder what kind of plea deal I would get. When I finally get my hands on, oh, on D'Angelo, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not a good, he won't get one. No. There'll no. be no plea deals. No. Mm -hmm. no, you're going to, you're going to Attica, probably, yeah. I'm sure, mm -hmm. no matter what you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but really, what do you think? I mean, this is, again, but we keep on a light. We, this guy's going to have an election, Seaman, the DA, yeah. eventually, and no one will run against him. I was just going to say, well, is anybody even going to run against him? No, no problem. and if they do, they'll be ridiculed and made to look like a something yeah like a yeah like a fool just like what happened in that uh sheriff's race remember greer yeah he ran against uh phil Setti, yeah. and the way they i my, because bill was bill nye was with him having, right you know helping him and that was a that was a mess yes and they will do the same but either way niagara county's really really we're not being County's justice yeah no they're not either no because we saw what they did bad. yeah we're we're in big I mean, yeah because how can you even think about the kids are getting what was it kicked punched yeah hair pulled being harassed and threatened because, uh, brushes and everything now the one little girl came her mother came and brush her hair right she sees that hairbrush coming and the poor kid you know loses it because she got abused with the hairbrush at daycare so that yeah, so that yeah, means, but that's all it's worth. You better get some Nick D'Angelo to that tanker. But let's think of, yeah, think of, yeah, yeah right, I'm surprised. <laughs> think about though where we, these kind of things, like I, and I know it's just tying it all in, but we all know Belter gets what, 10 months of house arrest or 10, yeah. whatever it was, how many years? I don't know what it was for him. House arrest. Eight, eight years or something like that. Yeah, to be on oh, house. Eight. Oh, no, of house arrest. I don't know. Something about house arrest and probate. Yeah. The other guy, D'Angelo, gets four months. Now think about that. Yeah. He gets house arrest. It's like being in jail. Yeah. For how long? And then I'm not sure if it was two years. gets four months and he's out skipping around and working and mm. you know, enjoying himself. The plea of a lifetime. I've yeah. said that a million times. He yeah. won the lottery and he keeps winning the lottery. Yeah. We're gonna talk about him shortly because we have breaking news. And we have a new breaking news uh segment alert to show everybody. Whenever scum will come up, it'll this will pop up. This goes right along though with the crime wave across the whole country. Sure when you think about it, crimes out of control. Yeah, it, it is. really is. Well, um, 
there's a place in San Francisco that's been open since 1938. It's the oldest toy store in the United States. 1938, they survived World War II, all that stuff, and they had to close down now for because the crime is so bad in that wow. area. So they finally wow. closed their doors. It was on the news today. Definitely. Dominic says, I'm really thinking we are going to a society where we honor the criminals. Did you all see that one case in California where she killed her boyfriend and the judge let her off because she yeah. smoked weed and said it was basically altering her mind? Wow. Wow. I wish I could get that kind of weed. Yeah. 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 Right. And be able to, well, Jesus, yeah, yeah, yeah. And be able to go to work. We could redo Woods. Yeah. yeah. Tremendous battle in the middle of woods. Yeah. Know, split the sides apart, let them go at it. But I mean, it's they're making life easy. Yeah, on, it's on the, if you're the defense attorney, right? I mean, you life is easy. You're winning all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's always win, win, yeah, win, win. Everyone wins, though. Liberal policies throughout this country have allowed. They've actually started all this stuff huh. and given them the room to do this. And now they say, well, it was the pot was too strong. Well, there you go. Yeah, and that's it. Right here in Niagara County, though, what pisses me off is it shouldn't be that way because we are smaller. We are supposedly more conservative. We we actually this county voted for Trump overwhelmingly, which is odd. Uh, yeah. The the legislature is controlled by who they call conservatives. The, everything is should be where it should be, and we can't do it yeah. because of laziness. Though to me, that's lazy prosecutors. Yeah. Yeah. More than anything, they're so lazy. Oh, yeah. But then it's a win for everyone. And don't the defense attorney and the prosecutor both think they win when they yeah. get the plea deal. Yeah. Because the prosecutor say, look, I didn't waste taxpayer dollars and I got a conviction. Then they say, well, you just got the deal of a lifetime. So we're all good here. Yeah. Everyone wins, but but the victim loses disgustingly. I don't know. I don't know. This lady is going to come up with three counts of endangering the welfare of a child. That's got to be worth a year in prison. Yeah. It should be worth a year. Now, we can't, if we go by D'Angelo, this is probably the way it should be, yeah. sadly. Yeah. Beating the kids and harassing them and everything, you know. Yeah. I mean, I, I can't believe there's no jail time at all. No, I don't. For what, it, they're so vulnerable, the kids, right? And you're doing that to them. Sure. I know. They're, babies. they're, they're little babies. babies. They're babies. scared anyways being dropped off. <laughs> and you're just an animal like that and to them. And who knows, like, really, these kids were able to tell their parents. And their parents were able to pick up cues from them. What about the ones that were younger? Than yeah. Right. That weren't who, able to talk. Yeah, who, who weren't able to talk and maybe cried because they needed to be picked up or fed or something. Who knows? Right. Who knows? Yep. Let's see here. In 2023, violent crime is much lower nationally. It is the quality of life crime that damages the community. I agree with the quality of life crime for sure. I mean, yeah, that's a problem. I I don't know what's going on with the Violent national crime is lower. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I don't really know the stats. I yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure. That one hard to believe. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what. Here in Niagara Falls, though, I'm thinking about that ha that situation with the hammer doesn't happen on Main Street. Doesn't happen on Pine Avenue. That happens out in LaSalle now, yeah. right? Sixty third and Buffalo Avenue. So you're not you're not good out there either. Like you know what right. I mean? You're not no safe. Yeah, place. no, it's no, it's safe, no safe place. place. When they people say I'm afraid to walk down the streets of this, that, and the other, you it doesn't matter where you are. If there's somebody who wants to commit a crime, who wants to hurt somebody else, who needs to rob you at that point in time, it's it doesn't over. matter where the hell you are or who you are. It right. doesn't matter. But yet you're not allowed to carry uh, stun guns with you. Right. You're not allowed to have anything to protect yourself. Right. You're not allowed to. Not New York State. Scary. Cindy says, yeah, it's sickening. The criminals have more rights. And if you try to defend yourself, you are the one that's arrested. And liberals are the ones that yeah. bash the victim. Mm -hmm. And Mary talks about well, They turned everything over. Right is wrong. Wrong is right. It's just the things we held dear, they destroy them. We are and such a lazy group of prosecutors make me sick because they, they're, they just... Well, you seen what we were talking about yeah. Rita, mm -hmm. how lazy she was, how she just didn't give a shit. She just mm, she just wanted it over. Yeah, she just and she was given so much information, so much evidence, everything. Mm -hmm. It was handed to her. She didn't have to do a damn thing. Everything she was said, yeah. everything mm -hmm. was handed to her. She was so lazy that she agreed to throwing out other crimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Other felonies got thrown out just so she didn't right. have to deal with it anymore. 
And where is that wow. case now? I mean, how about the parents? Did the parents of all these kids get together on this at all? Or is it single? I think there's a bunch of, like, three or four. Yeah, I think. I hope they should be able to get their... I wonder how that works as far as, like, lawsuits or getting money back for all that they paid in. Like, they must have paid to go there. They should have Right. Paid. Yeah. You know? And it's probably very expensive. And they should be forced what, to again, pay restitution to them. A, I don't know. It's a crime where somebody in a position of power takes advantage. Yeah. Yes. Again. Right. And it doesn't stop. But yet, like we've talked about, um, well, I might just talk about that. You could pull it right into this of the Child Victims Act. But we were just talking, we were talking before yeah. the show. There's a, there's a lawmaker downstate. Ah, oh, I should probably have his name right. Oh, geez. But Brad Hoyleman. He is uh, trying to bring it back. He's over there in, in Albany. He has a he has a bill with Linda Rosenthal, and they're trying to see if they can get it back into. Who brought it back the first time for the year? Cuomo, oh. Governor Cuomo did it, and then he. Uh, but they gave it a time. You know, it had that year. that year. Yeah. And um, when we had our local assemblyman on, he told us straight out, "We ain't getting it back again. There's no appetite for it." It's amazing, good but stuff. there is an appetite for it. It's just that. Now here's where not amongst the people who are voting. Here's where we get to a, a where I surprisingly this goes not surprisingly I'm not shocked. Democrats are the ones trying to bring it back. Republicans in the state Senate are blocking it every which way they can. They just will not allow this thing to go through. They block it. They're fighting it just like they gave 859 whatever they gave to Pugula right all that money. Well, some of these people said since all of these people that went to the Child Victims Act. Um, aren't getting their money because of insurance. They wanted to set up a New York State wanted to set up a fund to help pay them. No, they block it again. So I don't I don't get why. People are very concerned about the predators yeah. bank account. They really are. They're yeah. really expensive. But this is what Rob Orts, this is what uh, Assemblyman Morinello and all these guys are doing. They're blocking this shit. Why? I don't know. Well they're yeah. friends with predators, so right. They're blocking mm -hmm. all of it. They are not. They are not letting it go through. Why would you be afraid? I know. I, I know why. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure they like you know Catholic you know church and and teachers and that you're going after big people when this right. happens, right? People of influence yeah. and power. So I don't know. I, I just don't understand. I was reading the whole thing. There was a new article. I couldn't believe it. And Politico today about New York State Child Victims Act, and it said that. All these places are saying um, that they're blaming the insurance company for refusing to pay, but you know it, it's nuts. Mm -hmm. So then the state, some of the people in the legislature said, "Well, let's set up a fund and pay the people," but no, they'd much rather set up a fund for the bills or yeah. for somebody else. You Thank know, you, to, <laughs> that's what they want to do. Walmart. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah it's nice. It is right, hey, Dennis. So, anyways, that pisses me off because it, we. We know that we know there's thousands of people out there that haven't had a chance. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. You know? Yes. I think part of the problem too is getting people together to fight this stuff. It it it, it falls under the same thing we all experience. If it didn't affect them, they just stay out of it and watch it on TV and go, Oh, that's terrible. But nothing's done about it. Right. We could get sixty thousand yeah. people in this community to go to a Buffalo Bills game yeah. with no problem. Mm -hmm. Right, to go pay people, to go, pay to go, mm. but you can't get a, you know a hundred people to go to a courthouse and protest right. against a serial rapist. Right, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. It's just it's all societal. Like you talk about what they pay athletes, mm -hmm. and it's not right now that. But you got nobody. To, they just go about their business. Yeah. yeah, I can't handle it when I hear, "Oh, it's so cold, it's freezing out there for them today." Oh, you're getting paid to play. Yeah, right. I don't want to hear that. We've got yeah. people over fighting in Iraq and this and the other and put their lives on the line. They're not getting a quarter of what those. But don't tell me about the money that these people. Right. Get. It's cold out today. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't care. I don't right. I, yeah. Agreed. Yeah. You're going to get in the chest and almost die. Well, what about the people out there who lose their limbs? Yeah. Right. The rest of their lives. Oops, you yeah. got paid millions of dollars. They didn't. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. Right. No, I right. don't. Right. I, I agree. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to hear it. I agree. Agreed. I just You're don't. right on, Gail. Yeah. And You're I right don't on. know, though, why it. I would figure children being raped would be something we could all get behind and say, you know what, we need to make this right. No, right. doesn't happen. We are 
God one of the world leaders in sex trafficking consumers. United God forbid. States. United States, it's not number one. I thought it was number one, but they're close. But and I, so our society is sick. Yeah. It, it has become ill. Well, a lot of these people, too, a lot of the predators and the sex traffickers are the ones working mm -hmm. in politics and, and yeah. paying them. Yep. Because yeah. Because they're able to. That's why. Well, you got the president of the United States purposely allowing them to do this over your border mm -hmm. as we're sitting here right now there's up to a hundred thousand missing children now it was 85 now it's a hundred thousand and the sex trafficking issue you, you know though we they have, don't know who they are we have an institutional problem though yeah i mean it's schools churches boy scouts all this stuff mm -hmm. been going on for 40 50 60 years mm -hmm. and they don't want to face it i don't think people want to they face did. this That's exactly what it is. and you know what it's right in their face now and the fact that they're killing the New York, the the Child Victims Act is there you go. That's just disgusting. There you that's go. That's absolutely disgusting. Why wouldn't somebody want to face the fact that an innocent child right. was just hurt so badly that for the rest of its life it's going to be affected? Why don't you care? That's sick. Right. Yeah. I Even care if, if it's your it's kid, a, or yeah. it's, it's a child. Right. And right. why don't you want the like why are we so against people collecting money for yeah. it? Like as if as if like it somehow then bought like i mean that's the littlest compensation you can right or if the school money. board pays money or the church pays money you know what they should pay money because they had rapists running around oh they can't look at the catholic church yeah the mayor bill that i used to a long time ago i forget just in, in the buffalo area was the last time i knew with <laughs> Vinay was 42 at that time and that was a bunch of years ago well guys oh go ahead i'm sorry no no i'm just saying and so well, you didn't hear that much about it though did you there was a there's a teacher that teached in LaSalle in niagara falls high school that was abusing people every four years every he'd get a freshman senior leaves freshman senior leave he's doing it over and oh. over and oh. over yeah and then, uh, and then a they, lawyer said that handles stuff like this from new york yeah this guy is, is prolific it's a scumbag this is he's the biggest problem in niagara falls and it's just it's, and and they knew about it and what did the school district do here in niagara falls they let him retire with 25 years and five months and it was in the gazette the year it happened yeah. the gazette actually a kind of almost like congratulating mm -hmm. you got able to retire but it was you're retiring because you know that people because are somebody talking. showed up at the school board meeting yeah, and it's that's all publicity. They didn't want hmm? the public to know. Yeah. yeah. They just so, put it under the rug. And then and then it'll all get taken. Hey, and then every you know, the insurance isn't there or the insurance isn't yeah. enough. I'm sorry, go ahead, Rob. Yeah, ask Jerry, Jerry, I gotta ask you this about schools. Isn't it amazing that this like you have kids, you have every it's a big thing. You got kids running around playing gym, you got everybody coming in out of school, pool. pools, everything. They had no insurance. Doesn't that, doesn't that drive you? Doesn't that make you crazy to think that they would have no insurance? What if I just trip and fall down the stairs? It's odd. They're saying they had no insurance. It's odd. Yeah, how would that be? I, I, uh, I mean, I know you don't know, but I'm thinking I, 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 well, yeah, I can't even answer that. I, it's crazy. You'd assume they mm -hmm. did, though. Yeah. You would assume you'd have insurance. Right. Because so when did they get insurance? That's a good question. Right. Yeah. They claim to not have insurance. Well, maybe that's their own. Mm -hmm. So if anybody comes into the school for a parent teacher conference and slips on the stairs and gets hurt, they're that's crazy. There's no that can't be. It right. can't be. It can't, it can't be. be that there'd be no yeah, there has to be. I mean, if you own a fucking house, you gotta have insurance. insurance. Right. right. Don't tell me that a public place like that that has so many people in and out every single day. There's no insurance. It's got to be have insurance. It's got to be. Yeah. I mean, and I can't imagine. How do we find out about that one? We've heard about it a little bit through this lawyer that Robin knows, because that's if you even in the paper, you can look it up. Um, the Niagara Falls School District says it. They're, the, they're insured by the taxpayer. If anything happens, the tax, taxpayers on the line. Well, oh, OK, but it just gets passed down. But it ain't happening here because in New York State, they're. No, it's you might have just, just answered the question. Yeah. I know it's not, it's not happening. I know in my first case, and I can talk about my first lousy case, we couldn't go against his homeowner's insurance, even though the crimes happened in his home because they were intentional acts. 
So the uh, homeowner's insurance didn't cover intentional acts. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's weird stuff. It's crazy. But I would think, though... But it's, a, it's, a, it's a criminal act. It wasn't right. an accident. It was a criminal oh, act. Right. But doesn't this... Yeah. Show, I think it kind of shows a uh, the society that we're in that they didn't even think it's a crime. They didn't even think they need insurance for something of that nature. You know what I mean? That, that a child could be, you know... Or wasn't talked about. What? Oh, I mean, keep showing this how these things get thrown up. Look what the Pope and them were doing for... Yeah umpteen years after year when there was a sexual thing with a priest they simply moved them out of the parish and brought them to another church that's all their move that was the yeah. big move well okay and that was it yeah. so the conveyor belt got bigger and bigger and they and that's just, what they're saying he's saying about the teacher okay yeah, well all the teachers, now yeah. you're in trouble so you have to retire yeah, well first it, they moved them from school was, to school until and, they couldn't move no until more. they ran out of the way of protecting themselves yeah that's how they got away with it yeah yeah they figure out we're not going to take the fall for this guy so we're gonna let you're retiring right i'm down in the office said you're done you're getting out you're out of here shut your mouth don't talk to anybody in the camera you're out the door is there something special about 25 years like is that some retirement oh you mean for when you retire yeah. Is there some sort of level? How, of, many, how many years you have to have in before you retire? And oh, I get your pension. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. Because no. I know when they forced this this retirement, they made it effective like six months later, so he could have 25 years and so five they months. Right. Okay. So yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Niagara County is so sick and corrupt. It's obviously gonna keep getting worse. So many sick, corrupt judges, lawyers, and people. It's getting worse. These people need to go, but there's no help for us. Yeah. Every profession has this shit because in it. Because when one person leaves, they replace them. They're, they've already got the replacement. It's not a vote. And that's what people it's a replacement. Yeah. There's no voting. You think you're going out and voting. Right? Yeah. They make you think you're, you're able to throw in your vote there, but it's actually being placed. The person is already set to go. And they put somebody out there for you to vote for, but that person, yeah. no way, shape, or form is going to get it. I can't remember the last local election that really was contested. Like, you know, really was, yeah. the, you know, that wasn't just a blowout. Now, I know this right. last one with the mayor, but we knew he wasn't going to lose because the guy not, didn't try. And I'm, I'm yeah. not condoning anything, but now you know why voter turnout is so low. That's right. One of the reasons. Absolutely. Going, Fuck, I ain't going to go do that. Sure. For what? For yeah. that's which is I don't agree with it. You should always vote, but I understand why people don't. Because they're already placed in position, it's and it's your turn. Let's go. It's sure. fixed. Yeah. It's like, I'm it's not going to say this guy's name. I'm going to keep it off that's for this bad. for this thing for right now. Uh, we I just saw someone who passed away, and everyone knows who I'm talking about. A teacher in Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh my God, the testimonials of love for this guy. Is that right. Mm -hmm. But yet we know if you go look at the New York State's thing you'll see him on there and they did it for what he did oh and the people just oh my god the people outpouring of love yeah yeah and this guy is a predator so look at our look at our local church which i won't even name on pine avenue yeah yeah they had the organ player and oh my god when you mentioned his name it was revered oh yeah he says he's been arrested i told you the story he's been arrested twice someone's got to make it someone's got to make this change though i mean they, i feel like be. With the school, the schools, we should be able to have a, a better say in it. Because if I'm not Catholic, you know, but the schools are ours. Like, so yeah. we should be figuring well, this out. They, you know, that's what the meetings are for, supposedly. Yeah. The school board meetings, which people don't go to. Let's you don't even allow, you're not allowed to talk. No, that's not true. You can go there and talk. No. I've done it. So you got good in there, and then you let them know ahead of time. I want to talk it, and you sign See, Put you your know, name you know what I want to do? I want to. I've always wanted to do this. I want to talk to them individual. I'd like to talk to them not on the mic because then they can just. I, for me, it just turns into like a. You end up being like a raving lunatic when you're up there and you're you're emotional and you're whatever. And it makes you look. You makes you look wacky. I and then them shoes. And I kind of would like to talk to them. I'd love. There are some people that are on that board right now that I'd love to talk to because I know they're good people. I can tell they have to be. Yeah. They right. have to be decent. Oh, yeah. Are you not thinking like what is going on? What's in your head? Where are you? All I know is from answer. my own experience, when they were planning on having right here at James Church over here, they were going to have Buffalo, young girls from Buffalo come there at 7.30 in the morning that were pregnant. 
but they were going to take them out of Buffalo and bring them here. Mm -hmm. And all that, and they were going, well, who's going to get those girls? Are going to get up and come here? That so I think it was a big thing. They wanted all of us to come there and speak a bit. Well, Ken Hamilton mm -hmm. got up there and starts using the race card. You people don't understand. You you can't relate to black kids. They won't relate to you. And they well, said really black people going right. There. And he made he made it a black and white thing. He always it was a, he always does right. And they stood there. And I went there, and you were only supposed to get five minutes. He's well into eight minutes, I watched. And it was, look at your color. How can you respect? Right. It's, it was really degrading. But he supports a and I, nobody, and I, who rapes black women. Yeah, he's okay same with guy. That. He's okay with a white man raping a black woman. John, they asked me to come, and I sat there, and I looked this way, and everybody, because they're all sitting like this. All of them. Scared. Of and I went like this. Finally, I said, me, my big man. I want your time is up. Yeah. Your time is up. And they're all like, they're going, no, Jerry. No. Bullshit. I go, bullshit. And I looked at it was, uh, what's her, I want to mention her name. Go, you asked me to come here and you want me to be, I go, I'm not going to be quiet for this. I go, your time is up. I go, and you're over here talking about black and white. It's nothing to, to do with what's going on over here. Mm. And, it, it, and they were going, no, no. And he's going, no, no. Let Mr. Dozapo talk. And I, it was a shit fest. It, mm. it was a shit fest. Man. But the apathy of the sheep stuff is bad. And Hamilton could eat shit and die. Yeah. <laughs> he really yeah. could. Well, him and Lil Farina. No yeah. apology either, huh? No, they no. both they both have strokes. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Ken and Tony, you deserve it. I know Tony Green is well on his way. He's he's up. To, yeah, he's, he's oh, Ken yeah. is too, right? Ken too. What's that? On their way out, Harold. So I mean, yeah. hey. so I mean, we. Uh, what I'm saying somewhere in here, like I can't wait for the next assembly race. You know how we're gonna have? I can't wait to get those guys on. Yeah. The people that are gonna be running, so we can ask this question. Yeah. yeah. We asked it of the one guy. I can't remember his name. Remember he was on here. Uh, Moradian. Yeah, Moradian. He couldn't, Moradian. couldn't answer it. He had to research it. What the hell are you researching? Yeah, really. You gotta research if you if there should be ter uh, statute limitations on child rapists. I can't answer that question. It, I, I have to read. It leaves it. me speechless sometimes that yeah. we can't all come to a consensus on something as simple as that. Yeah. Like, how is anyone ever going to get justice for anything if we can't get justice for Our little children, kids? For, kids. Get for, right. children, for babies. Yeah. yeah. For babies. I mean, for little kids. It's just yeah, because there's no question. And then it's crazy. We've talked about this a million times. And we're, I'll move on because we got a lot of stuff to deal with here shortly. But like, and then you t I hear the adults, you've heard them, that have been hurt as kids. They have way too much information and things in their memory and things that they say, yeah. and knowing things that no one else could ever know. Yeah. You couldn't make this stuff up. And they and people still don't care. Mm -hmm. They will read it and say, you know, you waited too long to come forward. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, a child can't come forward. Right. right. You know, how long does it take for a child to become an adult? So if it starts at three or four years old till you're like 18. So now all of a sudden you want to say something, but you don't know if you can trust anybody. So it takes you longer. You right. Know? So when you finally are able to open your mouth and come forward, oops, sorry. Sorry. And they get away. Right. They just go away. They get away with it. They How about live. the ones that are able to admit that they did it and just and, so and walk away? Yeah, right. Yes, I did it. In the courtroom. Mm -hmm. yeah. Say it. And it's like, okay, but yeah. Yeah. All right, have a nice day. Yeah. yeah. That's messed up because if they admitted they did it, that means they're an offender and we they just don't care. Yeah. yeah. They're putting them back out there to go and that's what happened. Oh, I know it. I, I know it. Yeah. No stamps. Nope. Right? Nothing. No stamps. No, no, nothing. No, no, no. Because it was civil court, so that's Man, all. I wish I would have seen him at my high school reunion. Oh, me too. Damn, I was yeah. waiting for him. Me, I, I was waiting for him. I was waiting oh, for you to man, see him. Too. I watched all night long. I did. That's for <laughs> sure. Or his ex-wife. Neither one of them showed up. Yeah. And neither did D'Angelo's father. I was mm -hmm. so waiting. Set. Yeah. At my high school, <laughs> and I was going to say something right out loud, and nothing. I was so disappointed. Yeah, yeah. The schools, though, we got to get people should be. That's the thing. Nobody calls them out. That's no. what should happen they at their involved. at their high school reunions, at their grocery stores, at their uh, workplaces. Right. People should be saying, this is a level three sex offender. This is a pedophile. This is a, it, people mm -hmm. need to say it. I was going to say, don't be hey, friend, my good friend, blah, 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 mm -hmm. says to say hi to you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you remember what happened, you know, yeah. 
he never showed up. I don't know if he'll ever show his face here again. That's why I'd be willing to bet. What would you have said to Angela's dad? I would have said, hey, how's your son doing? Yeah, right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Launched him right yeah. times. How is your son doing? <laughs> My daughter's not so well. How's your son? Right. <laughs> D'Angelo's watch this shit? Of course. Of course. D'Angelo's, the whole family, watched us every single Monday. Well, then, well, I'll tell you, Dave D'Angelo, Dave D'Angelo, I'm asking you to apologize to my daughter. Read your messages, too. Okay, I read your messages. I called you out. I called you a coward. I go, maybe, maybe you should really think about this and finally apologize. Because now you know that your son is guilty. I think it's way beyond the time you man up. Twice your son has been killed. Okay. It's not just my daughter. It wasn't just Noel. No. It's a bunch of people. So I don't know where, what you think you're doing, or if you want to help your son, then be honest. But well, don't you know they're all pathetic liars? Well, yeah, he knows he, he knows, he knows she's not lying. He knows that he's trying to, I don't know what he's trying to do. Well, it's never too late there, that, Dave. None of them. The thing is, that I, I, and I, I really mean this, they all are mentally challenged somehow. They all are somehow retarded. There's something wrong with them. There's, there's obviously, yeah. there's definitely something very, very They're wrong. Evil. This yeah. here, yeah. let me read this comment. This is a shame from Shereza Maxson. Uh, that's the crap I'm dealing with now. I actually just overheard I was just a whore when I was young and now want to sue everyone. Not even close to the truth. I don't even know how to be a whore if I tried. I was also a 15-year-old child. He was 52. Makes me sick. Oh, mm. geez. Hey, and that's the... And she's the... Isn't she... Sure, the, a private message. Sure, isn't she... Can, the, yeah. sure, a, you're the, I, I'm sorry. We go through so many names. I, I, I apologize. Isn't that... Yeah. From the... Out of town here. Not doesn't live in yes. Niagara. Right? Yeah. Okay. With that son of a bitch who was the the town supervisor yeah. or whatever. Is that right? Yes, and it, this is a dis disgusting. Sorry that happened to you, Sharaza. We've had her. Yeah, that's absolutely that's disgusting. Terrible. And that guy Horrible. still goes around. Well, I looked at some more stuff from the Grand Island people. Oh yeah. And I saw that the guy that they went after used to own the the Niagara Fall the team at Salmagley Stadium, which I see left. I'm not surprised. Um, his last name is Kern, and um. There's counter suiting, this lawsuit going on and stuff. And, um, you know, yep, that's right. Stevenstown still that's battling. Exactly this mess. What the right. Exactly what the, what the yeah. are they're doing. Exactly. That's, that's the playbook. That's for me to shut up and keep quiet. And I don't know when they're going to realize it. I might be being quiet right now, but it's never going to happen. Like, that's not going to well, really happen. Right. Yeah. Okay. Let's, Eric, I'll read a few more comments. He is just as bad as his son, protecting his son, who is a sex offender. Correct? Joe, I'll get to your thing in a second. The bedding, right? Shereza says, yep, Stephen Town, still battling this mess. Well, Shereza, we are here for you. If you ever want to use yeah. our podcast, you ever want to do anything, you want to say stuff, you want to if you, ever you want, want us to, to say stuff. message me personally. Yeah, Robin's here. Everyone's here. Um, but we feel bad. We remember doing your story. That was disgusting. Yeah. That guy's a piece. What up? And he owned an ice cream place, too. Yeah. So he could have all the... Scummy son of a bitch. Yeah, he is. Um, Joe Herman. I know it's off topic right now. Okay, it's fine. But is there a politician or person that can lead the city back from where it is now and going? I'm going to say something that's going to be very negative. I'm going to say no. Because you, none of these people that are there, in my, it's just my opinion. Um, it, my opinion is it doesn't matter what the mayor or city council is. All this comes from like Albany. So it's more important the state people. They're the ones that really have taken those, those to me, those places downtown. And none of us has ever stood up to them, right? None of it, we never have because we just don't care. How were we set up to be a tourist city, but really not? We were a manufacturing city. So when the manufacturing goes, who was left? When everyone was working in plants on Buffalo right. Avenue and stuff, the state was taking everything. They, Gold Island was all there. That whole plot of land is yep. going to... To NFR, we turn around, whatever happens with NAFTA, or however that goes, everything goes away. And what are we now? We're just a bunch of people without jobs. Ghost town. Mm -hmm. yep. So I feel like there is no hope for that. It would have to be with all, somehow there'd have to be an Albany shift. And we can't even get our own like assemblymen or senators to even like admit to it. You know what I mean? They don't even fight for, for us. So, but yeah, no problem. And, and Shereza, anytime. Um, we got something we got to do. We got a new segment here. Here, I'll play the thing for everyone. Hold on. Let me take Shereza's thing down first. If I can find it.
new segment. This is fun. And it, this goes for one, but this goes for all, yeah. not just for this one, one guy here. Let me play our, our thing. Hold on. Sorry. Here. Oh, there we are. It's done. Oh, sorry. See, I was too busy watching it. All right. Anyways, we have an update every week. We'll have an update on some on some scumbags. Um, you know, whatever. Just scum. And this is going to go right over to Noel. Noel, we have an update on the one of the largest scums to ever scum Niagara yeah. County in uh, Western New York. Scums. Where is D'Angelo? What's he doing now? So Nick D'Angelo, the level three violent sex offender is working at buffalo biodiesel inc um it's uh at 225 sawyer ave tonawanda new york 14150 um and he is reviewing contracts and he is getting paid i think 1300 a week wow yeah wow 1300 a week so, so, so we it, called it yeah we called it it was it's for re reviews it's they make like they make grease into gas or something like yeah, that. From, something like that. From, from, um, They've been around a long while too. I see. Um, they were in trouble in 2016, but something I saw with the attorney general that. But whatever, they're still around. And I was trying to figure out. I looked at who the CEO is, and it was a guy from India. So I don't. There wasn't really. A, remember, we, we you looked at the list, didn't you? Of employees yeah. and everything. There was no name that really. Stood out except the one except the one I, it, i'm not sure unless it's his son there was another level yeah. two sex offender's name on the list okay yeah. and it's i don't know i don't want to say it because i'm not sure maybe it's a junior yeah. or something but it's the exact same yeah. name and it's crazy that why yeah. would they be hiring these guys yeah and uh, what are well, they thinking not around any kids right you know what i mean there's I'm, i hope there's no kids working there yeah right. <laughs> you know right and you know they're really maybe in an office are there females the, working in there yeah that's the well, right yeah there is yeah there is i saw the list there was yeah. but you know i mean they might be in an office with just so many people so there might be more contained hey it's way too good for uh, what about the neighborhood too? surrounding it i don't think there is i think it's it's one of the Where's that there's, located? There's restaurants and there's other I'm, things i would be concerned of the women in the building a little bit located by it's, uh 225 sawyer Ave. Tonawanda, New York. So you're in. Yeah. It's got to be like a, I bet you it's an industrial type. Yeah, it is. Park or something. It, it you is. see the down thing? What I'm, my, I, yeah, I mean, okay. The amount, he's making more money now probably than he did before yeah. he went in, along with his thing he runs. We, just, we know Niagara somebody he got him that job. Yeah. Somebody he knows got him that job. Yeah, it's um, an industrial. Like, if you look at it, probably- right, he should have had. I'm sorry, he should have had to like get it on it. Like, no one should be helping. No, he should, you know what I'm saying? No one helped him, but no, of course, they help him. Well, and I, probably his probation officer. I mean, they get in there and try to make sure that people get jobs and stuff like that. So, how do we know that's that- why I didn't want him to have this female probation officer because I knew she would mm-hmm. not do the right thing, right. she would be more of a friend than anything, right? I don't think that she's an actual good probation officer because there's so far been things that he's already done that he should be in trouble for, like running the Niagara Action page. Right. He shouldn't be allowed to do that. He's making money off the Niagara Action page. The number um, I've called, you can call, is um, 800-721-1427. I called and I asked them why they hired a level oh. three violent sex offender. Melody says there's a strip club on that street yeah. if you Google it. That's true. There's a strip club well, right that's on perfect. the street. Really? Yeah. Aww. So he's probably going there every night. So he probably goes there for lunch. Thanks, James. Yeah. Thank you. He said he gave them a good review once, but he's going to go back and take a look now and update yeah, that. It's over, you know, uh, it's over in the lake where the tunnel on the Coke area used to be mm-hmm. in that uh, industrial area, like you're saying. Mm-hmm. So we don't ever know if he was allowed to do the Niagara action, right? Because wasn't that the thing? The judge never ruled she on would, that. Yeah, no, when woman we didn't get to find that out. Know, she won't answer. I right. know a level three sex offender I heard was applying for a job at DiCamello's. Sickening. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, sure, of course. I worked with the, we worked with a bunch of them at the factory, and uh, but the people ended up making them go. I mean, the other workers were so pissed off about it that they 
when the yeah. human resource said fire him or we're leaving type of thing. And I wonder if those other people that work at Nick's job know if he's a level three sex offender. No way. Right. You no. Know, and if I'm my if my wife or daughter's working there, I'd be shook. Yeah. I wouldn't want that guy because he not only it's not just children. He was he was it was adults. Right. You know everything. It was. Uh, mm. It was a whole thing. I'd like to know how, what the heck he is doing. He is, how is he relevant to an oil company? He is probably up there, what? <laughs> Stripping or wearing that black, disgusting outfit yeah. that photo no one wants to share. Uh, well, his, he's using his lawyer still yeah, to read contracts. Oh, uh, yeah. No purple shoes or blue shoes. He's probably wearing the purple so shoes. So he's doing contracts, what a, what a yeah. lawyer would do. He's, doing he's overlooking stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, without being a lawyer, we, he's knew, doing lawyer we stuff. knew somebody would take care of him. We call it right for all along. Yeah, not, they go, Oh, he's gonna lose the job. No, he's not. No, he's good, he's doing well. But yeah, wait a minute, yeah. time out. How could he do any kind of a lawyer thing when he, yeah, he's, he shouldn't be allowed when to he do. wasn't supposed to? He's, he's got a job that a lawyer would do. Oh, by the way, I heard your grandmother died. How sad. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, and, and you were such a disappointment to her. <laughs> oh, god. I just, yeah, he got to, he, yeah. Yeah, I don't understand. They, yeah. He can do it. I heard you took your pictures down. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> he can do whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> what a shame. Yeah. What a damn shame. I just don't know. Um, what's he, so with the action and that, he's probably making over $2,000 a week. Yeah. Easy. Mm -hmm. We uh, that was called every wow. month. Said yeah, he's gonna just where, care of not when. Well, where under ten thousand dollar home that has to be paid for. So oh, yeah, right. Yeah, and not, a brand new vehicle too. I mean, Danny probably did that for him. No, no, no. And it's in his father's name. Yeah. Oh, we can't assume. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, well, I'm sure they're helping. Not if he's got this kind of a job. Yeah, he's getting two thousand dollars a week. I remember seeing that strip club when we were at the canal fest last year there were strange characters standing outside his parents must be so proud oh they are yeah. they're, they're, they are so they proud are pretty proud. they yeah. are yeah they are well after so all he's proud. innocent isn't he yeah i mean I they innocent. also are pathetic liars everybody else yeah. are pathetic liars mm -hmm. and he's innocent that we're just targeting him and yeah, yeah. parents yeah. are the <laughs> proudest parents in the world yeah i can't imagine that people are going to be comfortable working but they with probably him. don't know Right. Well, he's now probably sitting in his own little office somewhere. But maybe they have to smart to keeping him away from everybody. Well, the poster man paperwork in front of him and shut the door. Yeah, from what I think, I throw him a piece of cheese. Well, he looks like a rat. They are going to have to. Well, they have to know. He has people. enough money to pay girls for nude videos and photos. Um, right before he went to jail and right when he got out of jail, he, he had and while he was in up. jail and while he was, he was up in to jail, something, yeah. yeah, which he got away with, right. The fact that um, that yeah, it didn't take long, right, for him to get a job. Yeah, Just wait yeah. until the new year. That was yeah, all. Yeah. So he's out of a job for two months. Yeah, and they put him right in, and it wasn't. Go it's still dealing with government stuff in a way mm -hmm. with the contracts. These are all government contracts and things. And um, there he is, yeah. making good money. He's done better now than he probably was before. Is what I'm saying. You got he went to print he went to jail for four months and comes out with a new vehicle he and a new house <laughs> like a little summer vacation yeah the company he's working for is a well-known shyster from melody masters i did see them having something happen in 2016 where new york state and the back then attorney general was going there was an issue yeah there was a problem we got to find out who there's got to be a connection somewhere yeah. somehow yeah well, obviously there is if they're tanawanda we know the tanawanda's he, are he's very involved in yeah. the Tonawana area. I mean and that's the hub of it because that's where Wataza comes from, yeah. Maziars, they're all North Tonawanda, Tonawanda people. Right. I would imagine one of them probably got him this. Yeah, or a shitty father. Maybe thing. maybe the mayor of North Tonawanda yeah. got oh, him yeah. his job. His, they're very close. His father though I don't think has enough pull to pull anything. I just think he's a city worker who just sits there. But yeah. yeah. It's yeah. probably one of these other people like uh you know Henry or Wataza or yeah. one of them. I mean they you know, there. I'm surprised. You know, Cap Alkin. Oh yeah, oh, another yeah. one. It, I was surprised that. Uh, I'm really surprised the little bakery didn't come to his aid. Yeah, I know. I was watching and looking because I saw they them. They're probably bringing him bread and jam. <laughs> They're probably <laughs> with the pizza, yeah. Yeah. pizza parties. Yeah, yeah. I was looking pizza parties. Yeah, I saw them crying and complaining on Facebook again the other day yeah. about something. Yeah, I don't know what they're she crying. Says the about. case is on Google. Yes. Okay. Yeah, about the place, bio, Buffalo Biofuel. 
And supposedly he's making thousands on the Niagara Action Facebook page too. So Wow. Yes, so fine. if you are sharing it and you're looking at it for your news, you're an idiot because you're helping them. Yeah. And there's no news. I think they're just putting up pictures of the falls. And Buffalo Bills. And Buffalo That's Bills. He, to do. he probably loves watching the football He's player. He's probably inside the stadium. And then why they're taking showers. <laughs> Looking for Josh Allen naked. Oh, oh no. Oh, well. He does swing both ways. A hundred percent. Yeah. Men, women, children. Doesn't really matter. Frogs. But Brit. That's too much. That was he's the... probably making money off of OnlyFans too. But Brit. Yeah. <laughs> he is but Brit. Right? Right? Oh my God. I don't know, guys. I, if you're if you work there and you somehow are watching this, I would be concerned. Yeah. I would definitely want to know who my coworkers are. Or if you know somebody who works there. I used to do that at the factory. I used to try to because when I'd see new people come, especially because I'd be training them, I'd want you want to know who they are. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I would look it up and and oh my god. Yeah, you're not allowed to. Yeah, you're not allowed to. It's almost like a HIPAA thing, you know, it's right. protected like information. Crush, yeah. So I'm sure unless somebody knows who he is or has seen something about him, it's <laughs> excuse me, all protected information. Yep. Okay, and Cindy gave him the same of the update course. that um, she was still in. I oh wow, did you see that Niagara oh action God. yesterday? And he had a post about the woman that was attacked by the hammer. He had it wrong. Said she was still in ICU, and I saw a comment last week that she's already and home. That is what wow. the Niagara action does. They post false information all the time. <laughs> all the time. They've even been in trouble for posting false yeah. information, and they continued. He continues to do it. He just. We'll say whatever. And remember when his ex girlfriend Nicolette pretended yeah. to take over the Niagara Action page? Nicolette Saluzio, the one who's an idiot and shares her kid with him. Right. Um, she she was saying that we don't share crime anymore. We're not going to talk about crime. Well, Nick D'Angelo's out of jail. There's crime again. There's crime. Yeah. There's crime. Yeah. And, and the Buffalo Bills again, all over the place. Yeah. So he's um he yeah, he was he's been running it. And I imagine he could probably go on the internet in his father's name. You know what I mean? If his father's running it, maybe like an IP address type thing. I wonder because yeah. he's not right. Oh, I don't even know. I, who knows if they if they restricted his internet use? Sure, you don't really know. Yeah, you want to know what Nick? It's not his child. It's actually a, a, his ex girlfriend's child, but he fought for custody of that child, so she has to share her child with Nick D'Angelo, and it's not his biological child. It's not his child at all. Mm -hmm. But because he was with the girl for so long he made her he got custody of the kid it's disgusting and you would think that she would fight it in court now because yeah. she wanted to cry boo-hoo and say you know he's mean to me he's a this and that he's horrible to me you would think that she would get the kid away from him because she has a great chance of it but who knows she's probably still letting him see the kid i'm uh, yeah a little boy who he likes little boys he's into little boys so god only knows what he could be doing to that little boy right Hmm. Well, he's on the loose. And didn't we have a sighting a of sighting. him with, Where? We did? with the little boy? Oh, that was a while ago. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, behind the stadium over here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm so not yeah. sitting on the back of the trunk or something. Oh, my yeah. God. About to, about to go repost. I, I feel bad for that kid. Him. I yeah. would have ran away a long time ago. Well, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's uh. So I, I think everyone there should know. Like someone said something. Remember, you you, po we, you posted something, or we shared something on Citizens United. And that lady kept on going back and forth. With, did you see that? too? Oh, on yeah. the message. I don't think it's wrong for us to make the public know. You're not. I already talked to an attorney about it. Mm. I said because because of her comment, I went to an attorney and I said, "Is it wrong?" He said, "No, as long as what you're saying is true, you can't get in trouble for it." Well, what's wrong? Well, you they have you have to know where they live. Right, so why you right. know where they work? Why can't you know where they work? Right, really? right. I want to know if they live next door to me, and I want to know. I want to know if I'm working with. Yeah, them. yeah. sure. And I don't want to. And go if the store. I can't find out through um, HR, well, if somebody else knows about it, you better deal with it. What about their me. rights? Right. What about other people's rights? Exactly. Right. What about the right to everyone else? The right to not else? get raped. Yeah. 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 Yes, Janelle's kid looks just like him. I swear to God, that's 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 a Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. It's not what? Allegedly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the alleged uh, things that happen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's all. See? 
No, that is the way to go. If you allege, we're not really saying it. We're just guessing yeah. here in our public mind. But I want to know if I'm working with somebody like yeah, that. Yeah, you definitely want to know. A yeah. level three violent sex offender, HR isn't going to tell me. Well, if somebody else knows where he's working and I happen to work there, I'm going to freaking know. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Well, right. I leave work at, at six, seven o'clock. You're going the park right. Yeah. Yeah. And he's the yeah. one. Yeah. No, I want to know. No, they got to know, and I think, um, yeah, you're right. We have a right to know. Yeah, the, the people that work at that place should know. There's, they, they should there's know. women in there. I mean, and I know. I've been calling and calling and calling. I just called again outside. I have got not one phone call back. Probably. You left messages. Left messages, my number, everything. No, yeah. call no they're blocking you. Yeah. I just wonder, though, the people there can't be happy. They don't know them, but when they find out, they're not going to be. They're just, you're never happy. Right. You don't want that. No one wants that. Or he's telling them, like he tells everybody else, I'm not guilty just because I pled guilty doesn't mean I'm guilty. That's nice. exactly They're all what he's liars. They all yeah. lied. They all got together and lied about me. Oh, he would definitely will attack somebody. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how in the hell this. Well, he can't. He can't have a job without attacking somebody. He's done it with every job he's ever had. Well, the only thing is, is these people have to not be afraid to open their mouth. And for some reason, whatever he does, he gets people to shut up. Yeah, mm. money. <laughs> Money Some of it's probably money, yeah. yeah, and and money and uh and if he has any, um, hopefully they stripped pow enough. Po well, I, mean, I don't like power away from this guy. Taking the lawyer thing away gets a little of that power away. Well, but he's going to have more power now at work because he's going to look like he's somebody important and yeah, be all dressed up in the clown suit. Publicly. What right. would satisfy the public? He loses his lawyer, like, yeah. and everybody's going, "Oh boy, I go why." I it's told nothing, somebody to, yeah. I go, they're gonna get rig him up with another good paying job. Mm -hmm. I know he's not gonna be hurt. Yeah, he's doing really well. Yeah. yeah. As we all struggle. <laughs> there he right. is. After boy. Yeah, I, I think um I, I don't see anything wrong with letting the people know. That's why it's there. You go on that um thing, it gives us it gives his license plate too, yep. and type of car. Uh, so he has two of them too. Uh -huh. two. Uh, he needs them. Yeah. yeah. He needs two vehicles just in case. To traffic all his victims. Yeah. Allegedly, sure. Well, Allegedly. He's gotta go, somebody's got to go pick up that cup of coffee. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. He's got to have that coffee for his victims. How do people? Ah. No, I know. I remember just working at that factory. And they used to bring a lot of those guys in because it was a mindless factory. And it would just, yeah. we would eventually, I never forget all the employees. Well, we found out spreading the word around. You had a good group go in and say we were going to quit if you don't get rid of this guy. Yeah. They got rid of him. They did make him leave um, because you just don't feel comfortable. We did have women working there too. And uh, I don't know. I, I hope that all this, I wonder what they do when they hear you on the message. It's kind of incredible. I'd love to see that. I'd love to see though <laughs> what is going on there. It probably goes right to HR. Yeah, it must. I'm, it yeah. must. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call. Every single day until I get a phone call back. You won't know. No one picks up, huh? And it's I talked like to the other victim. I talked to the victim that he raped in the car. Yeah. She's pissed. Huh? She's furious. Oh, the girl that we listened to with yes. her. Yeah. She's furious that he she has. She should be. Yeah. Does she listen in? How um, is, I don't know. How about the and then this is Noel, I know. The the people that got their stuff, the felonies thrown out. I I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Like there is two others, right? Yeah. That's why they're going around saying they're all liars. Mm -hmm. That's why they say that they're liars because those ones, they, those cases will never be seen or heard. So these women all just got together and lied about him. Part of the plea deal. You guys heard it though. They, they, that was part of it. Yeah. We'll go no further with anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So the girls who did come forward and brought the case against them were they're pathetic liars. Yeah. Well, I According hope, to David D'Angelo. Yeah. I hope they're pathetic liars. Yeah. I hope Real. coward. It's a loser. I pray for you if you work there. You better pay attention because um, he's a manipulative, rotten, just you know, he's 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 an he's an animal. Yeah. Really, I mean that's what you could call him. I hate saying I love animals. No, he's just, he's just. No, yeah, don't use it. I don't want to say animal. He's put the, they no animal. Food. Him, they put a tie on him. That's a, tell you, suit and tie takes care of a lot of ills. Like pig and lipstick. Yeah, that's exactly it. the pig and lipstick thing. All right, we should probably wrap it up, I guess, Noel. Yeah. It's probably time. Um, let me remind everyone that about all of our shows real quick. Tuesday night, tomorrow, 9 o'clock, I do Puck It with Bill, who's watching from Wisconsin. Hi, Bill. Hey, Bill. Um, What's he doing in Wisconsin? He is a, uh, he's in the Army. Oh. And he's up there in a uh, 
Yeah, he's just yeah, he's in the army. Okay. That's where he's stationed up there. No kidding. And I got to meet him and we do a hockey show together. I never met him, but a great guy. Oh, never met him in person. Guy. But yeah, he's a great guy. And he watches our local show and he loves it. Right. So that's cool. Um, Thanks for serving, Bill. We got him uh on Tuesday night. Robin, nothing on Wednesday, right? Right. That's the one night off. Thursday I, is Hannon's Cannon at seven o'clock with uh, with our guy. <laughs> It is a great name, isn't it? Dan Cannon, Dan. Yeah, Dennis Hannon will be with us Friday. Great chill. Yeah, it is. Friday great is chill. Fitball and Sports with Scott Taggart. Um, and then Saturday, Saturday is Falls Count Anywhere with Chris DiCarlo and Charlie Turner. So that's everything. Yeah. And you can watch all of Jim Berenger's stuff. He's an NHL insider. He works for Full Press Hockey and does all this kind of stuff. He's on Spitball and Sports constantly. He That's where he puts all of his stuff. So... That's pretty good stuff. I just yeah. did a show with him on uh, what day was it? Saturday. 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 I did, but it was only for um, Roku TV and uh, like all that stuff. It, w- it wasn't on. It couldn't be on Facebook yet. So, but it'll be coming. Um, anything else, Noel? We should uh, remind people or of anything except Niagara action. Yeah. Get out of there. Niagara action. Make sure you share that stuff too. When you see a post about the Niagara action, share. share. It. Well, not not on their page, but when I post something about the Niagara action, please share it. Because I still see people liking it and sharing it. It's ridiculous at this point. Yeah. You should know better by now. And I want to say thank you to all the star givers and all yes. the people that watch us and share us and do all that stuff. Um, because we're at 180 episodes, but we wouldn't be if no one watched. Because we would just leave. There'd be no point. Yeah. I wouldn't do it just for... And we would just sit here and talk amongst the five of us. Right. And not have to do this. But no, thank you for watching. Thank you for everything. And, and again, if you ever are out there and you need help, like... You know the topics we discuss and the, where we're at around here. Robin, Noel, Gail, Jerry, myself, reach out and we'll help you. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll definitely have you on. Anybody can come on too. Yeah. Anybody. Anybody you're open to come on to talk with us. Um, and we kind of have people here that can help you with Noel and Robin. They've been in situation. They might, you know, if you're in that situation, you guys are more than willing to talk. Yeah. Um, So, yeah, thank you, everybody, and um, we'll definitely be back Monday. Bye. Bye.